What is up, everybody? Back with some more Scarlet and Violet Regulation F VGC. We got a really cool team today around Verizion. Verizion actually came back along with the, all the other Swords of Justice trio and Keldeo with the most recent Scarlet and Violet DLC. You don't really see it that much, mainly because it usually has the reputation of being like the worst out of the Swords of Justice trio. And I actually seen this team and I really wanted to kind of feature it just mainly because you don't see Verizon very much. And I do think it's a lot better than a lot of people are getting credit for. So, and especially with a lot of the new Paradox and like Iron type mods with like Iron Boulder and Iron Leaves and all those other ones. It kind of also gets outshadowed by those. So, it has a, a kind of a tall, tall build to stand up to compared to a lot of the other stuff it's kind of competing with. And I think this team can maybe try to make it shine, and that's what we're going to try to do during this session. So, there's actually a team made by Calamari or Dinosaur. Uh, I don't think this team actually has a pokey pace, but it does have a rental. If you guys want to use the rental up in the corner, feel free to use it. Support the creator of the team. I'm going to run through this team real quick. We're going to hop in some games. We got the the standard and Cinderor kind of a really solid standard set with the Terra Water. This one has Helping Hand, which is kind of cool. A little bit something different there. The Booster Energy Gouging Fire, more of a support set with the Breaking Swipe Howl support with the Terra Grass, so you can't be put to sleep. You got the Sash Mouse Hole to pair alongside the, the Verizon, mainly just for the justified beat up support, along with the Follow Me support and the Friend Guard damage reduction. And you got the Encore there, which is also pretty fast. You can lock something into an Encore and uh, kind of nullify something that way. Got the Fairy Feather Flutter Main with more of a kind of a supportive set, but also still really offensive with the Taunt and Protect, kind of cool. And you got the Wellspring Ogre Pond with the standard, full on like standard set. So. Kind of a solid team. We're going to see how this team does. Looks at this team, and I ended up finding this in uh, one of the content creator discords, and I kind of wanted to feature it for you guys because I think it'd be pretty interesting. So, see how this team does. All right, we are here with the game. My opponent has a really cool team Scissor, Clefairy, um, Annihilate, Jolteon, Gyarados, and Skeledurge. What do I actually bring here? I kind of want to bring the Verizon. It actually ain't too bad versus him. The main problem is I got to try to break through the Gyarados and like try to break through the Scale of Dirge, which could be kind of a problem here. I do have Leaf Blade in close combat, but like I kind of get walled by the by both of those actually, so that's kind of a problem here. I mean, I guess Flutter Main deals with both of those relatively well, so I'm not really too scared of that. I think that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna bring the Bring the uh, Fryzeon and the uh, Mousehold lead here. I'll bring the Flutter Main in the back. Ogre Pond doesn't look too bad here either. Okay versus him. I guess I can bring the Incineroar, which also looks really good versus him. I think I'm gonna do that here. I, don't know, I think my opponent brings Scissor, Skeledurge. Gyarados and Annihilate. I think that's what he brings. I don't think he brings the Jolteon or the Clefairy. You guys like the videos? Leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Really appreciate it. He actually just brings the Clefairy Scissor lead. Okay. I don't know. I think the one thing he's, he's going to try to do here is he's going to go for follow me and he's going to try to redirect the the encore or the beat up into the Clefairy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for Super Fang on this turn, expecting a follow me, just double into the Clefairy. Which he does do here. He's probably going to try to sword, which could be kind of scary here, but I think with a, a Super Fang, a Leaf Blade from half, might get a kill on him. And he barely lives. How does he live? How does he live that? I mean, I also have quick guard, so like, he can't really do much to me. Like, I can go just go for a quick card and spam that every single time. I think what, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just go for the... I could go for protect, too. I just don't know if he actually has bullet punch. I'm assuming he does. What I'm going to do here, he might actually just get greedy, actually. He might go for follow me again. I have a few plays I can make here. It's a really tough turn. 
Because either your ghost gets greedy or he just starts going for damage on this turn. I'm going to quick guard here. I'm going to quick guard, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... I'm going to beat up into the Clefairy. He's going to protect now, okay. Bullet punch! We made the prediction. We made the prediction. So now it's kind of a, a nothing turn, though, unfortunately. I really want to get the beat up off into the the variety on I really do. And now I can actually encore him into that too. If I really want to, I can encore him in. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna protect on this turn. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to encore the scissor into bullet punch here. And hopefully he doesn't go for follow me. He protects again. He protects again. Oh, he goes for the bullet punch again though. I live. I live that, okay. I don't know, I just spam wide guard. I don't think I don't or not wide guard, a quick guard. I don't think it actually fails. You can just keep spamming it over and over, so that's what I just do here until the scissor dies. And then I just go for beat up again on the Clefairy here. Cause he's locked into it now. And I gotta start going for like Super Fang and shit onto him. Bullet punch. You can't hit me because of the quick guard. I'm surprised I actually took a, a plus two bullet punch though. the Gyarados. I have clear amulet, though, so that shouldn't be too bad. I just spam quick guard here. I spam quick guard, and I'm gonna go for super fang on the scissor on this turn. He has a hurricane on this. That's four times effective, but it doesn't do much. He gets the confusion too, that kind of sucks. I can't spam quick guard anymore though. Like I think what I need to do here is just go for close combat and try to get rid of him. I just need to go for damage, because otherwise I'm dead on this next turn. I just go for follow me here, I think. through confusion that is too if i don't break through this though like, we're gonna be in a bad spot i need to get rid of this scissor badly so not bad at the very least we trade it's gonna be a really even game here though i'm assuming his last mount's probably the annihilate if i were to guess this guy's landing all the hurricanes too all the hurricanes that's two in a row it's really impressive I still have a Terra I can use here as well. He just comes down if he has to Annihilate, because otherwise I give him a free boost here. So I'm hoping he doesn't have Annihilate. Uh, and he, he brought the exact, almost the exact mods I thought he was going to bring too. Just instead of the, the Skeletor, he ended up bringing the Clefairy. He's not, is he not Defiant? He's not Defiant Annihilate. Okay, that's fine, I don't care then. I'm just gonna go for Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam here. It's fine by me. And then I'll fake out. And he might also go for Terra here as well. I'm assuming he's probably might be Terra Fire. Terra Fire Annihilate, whatever he wants to go for here. Maybe Terra Steel. Doesn't even go for a Terra. It's really surprising. Like, if he doesn't go for Terra, like, this is, should probably kill him. It's Fairy Feather Boost, and he's gone. 
Well, I don't know. Unless he wasn't a defensive Terra. I don't know what build he was running on there. No idea what build that thing was running. Because he didn't have Defiant either, so I don't even know what else he'd really be having. I think he just surrenders here. I don't know how he wins. He's going to stay, though. He's going to take the L like a man. He's going to get knocked back into the 20th dimension by a, a helping hand, Terra Fairy. Fairy Feather Boosted Dazzling Gleam. Get out of here. Props to my opponent, though. He, he's running like a Regulation A or like Regulation B team from like really early on in the game. That's kind of what that team was. Props to him for that. I guess apart from like the Clefairy. Clefairy wasn't in the game at that point, but everything else was kind of a really lower tier type team. I'll see you guys in another game. All right, we got another game. A lot of really cool teams I'm going against today. This team is really fucking cool. Cannot stress enough how cool this enemy enemy opponent's team is. He has the, uh, I think that's a Rangaroo. I think that's what that was, or is that Pissimian? I think that might be Pissimian. I forgot which one's which, but it's one of the monkeys. Uh, Grafai, I haven't seen for Grafai in forever. I almost forgot his name. Pyroar, Zep, Strika, Hippowdon, and Fragraphs. So a really cool team. Really, really, really cool. I think what I do here, I want to bring the Fryzeon. The Fryzeon looks pretty good here, actually. I'm going to bring Fryzeon. Mouse hold lead here. Actually, looks pretty good. He, he's pretty weak to grass fighting. Like, uh, everything on his team gets hit by one of those. Unless he has, like, Sap Sipper. Sap Striker, for whatever reason. Uh, I bring the... I kind of I want to bring the Incineroar here, too, mainly, but... I'm gonna bring Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond looks really good here. And then I think I bring Flutter Mate. I think that's what I bring. I don't really even know what my opponent's team really wants to do. Like, I know what a few specific mons I want, usually want to, what they want to do, but. He's with this. So I know Passimian actually gets Receiver as one of its abilities, so it also gets Defiant. Maybe he's Defiant and he was predicting me to leave with Incineroar. I'm not sure. I never did that here, though. I also have Quick Guard, which I can go for here. I'm going to go for the Quick Guard on this turn. And then I'm just going to go for Beat up here. I don't know what he has to one-shot me. I know Passimian gets Poison Jab, and he might get Knock Off. Gets, I know it gets Fighting Stab, of course it does. I, maybe U-turn actually. I might just go for U-turn. Terra! Oh, he's Terra flying. Is he? Is he Terra blast? I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead here. Swagger. Oh wow! I dodged a bullet there. I dodged one there. I think I'm still dead though. Like I, I mean, I have friend guard boost. But, like, that's a four times effective move if he has Terra Blast flying. Or, like, it may be acrobatics. I'm not sure if this thing gets acrobatics. I don't think I'm still dead. He has a mirror herb. Wow. I live. I live because of the sash. Wow, he actually went off the, the wrong thing. If he would have went after the, the Verizion, I would have died. Is this Does this thing get unburdened too? I'm not sure if this thing actually gets unburdened. I don't think it actually does. I think it gets Receiver and Defiant. I'm not sure if it gets unburdened. If it does though, then I'm fucked. Because you know, it all speed me. I think the main thing is here, like, I'm kind of fucked because I I, am, I want to attack. Like, I'm going to attack, try to attack here at least. Oh, he's terror flying. I can't really do much to him. I'm at plus four, though. Plus four close combat. Should be able to kill him. And that gets cool for follow me here, actually. 
I'll eat the swagger and I'll eat it whatever he wants to throw at me. He's goes for poison jab. I should be able to outspeed him. Unless he's choice and he's not, so. This is that plus four. Can I kill him from that range? I don't even kill him. Verizion, you are fucking weak. How do you not kill a, a, a fucking Passimian at plus four? And he just got all his health back. He's back to full. Ryzeon, you are weak. I understand it's resisted, but like that is a plus four, 120 base power close combat. That is crazy how he lived. I'm glad I never wasted a Terra there either, because if I would have wasted a Terra, I would have been even in a worse spot here. I think what I do here is I gotta go Terra Fairy. I'm gonna go Terra Fairy and just go for Dazzling Gleam. I think that's my play here. And then I gotta go follow me on this turn. It's actually gonna be Flutter Main versus the world here, actually. It's gonna we might actually just lose this game just mainly because of the crazy shit this guy's running. I'm hoping he goes for swagger, because I if he goes for swagger on the Ogre Pond, that'd be great. Now I can get the, the plus two boost. He misses the swagger. He missed. Wow, that's huge. That is, oh, he lives, he lives, and I'm dead. Wow. I don't know how this thing is living all of these fucking moves. I do not know how the Oranguru is living everything. It li lived a plus four close combat, and it just lived a, a fairy feather boosted tear of Dazzling Gleam. I think I'm dead here. Like, what he does here is he just goes for Poison Jab. I'm locked into this, so... Alright, I guess he goes for Sunny Day. Actually, that Sunny Day gives me a boost. Thanks, thanks, bro. Thanks for the plus one boost. I outspeed him, so, like, I... Okay. Can this actually kill the... the fr I actually get to double down because of the extra boost. Thanks, bro. Why did he go? I, I guess I'm assuming he probably in the back. Yeah, something that requires Sunny Day. I forgot what his other mods are. I know he has Zip Strike. A bunch of other crazy shit. Oh, Pyroar. He has, he has the Pyroar in the back. That's what he has. I, say, I almost forgot what he had. He has the Pyroar. I think the Zip Strike is dead here, though. Like, I, I don't know about Pyro. I think Pyro. I mean, I'm not specs either. I want to see what he does. Let's see what he does here. I don't even think I live like a sun boosted move from him. It depends on his build, too, if he's specs or whatever he's running. If he's choice scarf, he might outspeed me. Super Cell Slam. Okay. He's taking a recoil from that, actually, because of the fucking Protect. That's great. I I'm glad I went for Protect. He has Heat Wave. He comes down if that's actually a Specs Heat Wave. If it's Specs, it should kill me in the sun. If it's not Specs, I might actually live. Let's see what the build is for this thing, actually. That's the downside of running, having to run Super Cell Slam. Such an awful fucking garbage move. I'm just running max max. Yeah, I have no special defense investment or any bulk. So. Actually, without a specs, just maybe in the sun, it might just one shot me. So, YOLO. Gotta hope I live one or he misses. Does half, so that is a 2 KO. 
I gotta be able to live this though, and I don't think I will. Oh yes, snarl. Okay. I don't know how much that really matters though, actually. Oh yes, throat spray. Never mind. Since he's throat spray, I think at this range a dazzling gleam does not kill him anymore. So I think I 100% lose now. Maybe a really high roll. Maybe it does. Oh wow, I got a really high roll. That was the luckiest high roll ever. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I, I should not have won this game. I think this game just came down to luck. He, de he deserved to win this one. I did not deserve to win this at all. What an absolute badass, though. This guy is using fucking Pyroars, Zep Strike, uh, Passimian, and a bunch of other crazy shit on the ladder. This is why I play casuals over ranked. You are not going to be seeing the crazy shit like this on the ranked ladder. I love going against this really cool stuff. Really cool shit. Like, fucking mirror her Persimian. Like, what? Well, you're not going to see that on the ranked ladder. That's exactly why I like going against the, the casual stuff. Just for games like this once in a great while. That's great. I'll throw one more game to this video. Alright, we're here with the game. My opponent has Blissey, Whimsicott, Kingdra, Galarian, Slowking, Metagross, and Annihilate. What do I actually bring here again? I actually think Gouging Fire looks really good here. Funny enough, Gouging Fire looks pretty good here. I'm going to bring Gouging Fire. I'm going to bring the Gouging Fire, and I'm actually going to bring the... The Verizion combo this time, I think that's what I'm going to try to run. What else do I want to bring here? I'm going to bring the Flutter Man again, it looks really good versus him. And I think I bring Ogre Pond here as my other mod I bring. I kind of want to bring the Incineroar, but I think he will, he'll bring the Annihilate. So I think it doesn't really pay bringing that. Running some really cool teams on the casual ladder tonight. Some really, really cool teams. I don't know if you guys will see it, but I ran into a, a game earlier that had, a, had some other really cool stuff on it. I don't want to really spoil it, because I don't know if I'll throw it into the video, one of the videos for you guys. It was using a different team. I've been bulk recording tonight. I don't know when you guys will see it. Had a lot of really cool stuff I ran into. So he's with this. Is he? Does Whimsicott actually get uh? Does it actually get rain dance? I don't think it does. I don't, unless this Kingdra is like focus energy set up with Sniper, maybe. Maybe that's what this shit is. I don't know. I could break him swipe here, or I can just go for Flare Blitz and just one shot the Whimsicott, which I think I'm gonna try to do. And I'm just gonna go for the the Leaf Blade here. I think he's gonna be going for Sniper type stuff. Really weird, because I have not seen Kingdra just with no rain. I guess Dragon Ball, so I should live that though. I do. Barely. Barely live. I'm dead to recoil here. So the Gouging Fire is down on turn one already. That's really bad. That's not good. Not how I planned that to go. I wanted to get a couple Howls off and a few other things going. I get a crit off the Leaf Blade. I'm really surprised because like it's a Kingdra and its defense really isn't that good. And with a crit, I only did 75%. So like without a crit, what I only did like 50 to a Kingdra, that's a little bit weak. Not gonna lie, that's, that's kind of lacking. I got Ogre Pawn here. I just go for Follow Me here, I think, because the Women's Account can't really do much to me, and the King Dragon, best thing it has is probably Dragon Pulse to go after me with. And then I'm just gonna go for Leaf Blade here again. Go for Protect, that's fine. It actually has Icy Wind, okay. He misses. On the Verizon kind of sucks though, because 
take a solid amount of damage from that. I don't get my stats lower because of the clear amulet, but I still have a solid amount of damage. I don't really want that much damage on this thing, especially if I want to bring it to late game, depending on what he has. I mean, I still have Flutter Mane in the back, too. Clone. Who's Clone? Metagross. That ain't too bad. I think what I do here is... I mean, I can go for Follow Me again if I really want to, but I don't really have much to hit Metagross apart from, like, close combat. But I think that's what I do here. I'm just going to go for Follow Me on this turn. And then I'm going to get rid of the Whimsicott here. He protected on the last turn, so I don't think he really is going to do much here. If he goes for Moonblast, I'm going to eat that because of the Follow Me. He has Giga Drain. I don't know, depending on how much, how much health he actually gets back. I don't know if I can actually kill from that range, because... Leaf Blade is four times resisted, I think, on the Whimsicott, or it's... Or it's two times resisted, I forgot. Fairy doesn't resist grass, so... I don't know. The, the Verizon's been kind of weak and missing out on a lot of KOs, as you guys probably seen in the last few games, so... Kind of weary. He has Asuka. That's kind of that's a cool name for the Annihilate. I don't know what do I do here. I think I'm just gonna go for Ivy Cudgel on this. I have Flutter Man in the back, so as long as I get damage on the Metagross, that's what I really need here. So I'm just gonna go double into the Metagross. He's choice. He's choice. Scarf Annihilate. Actually, he's Tailwind. Never mind. I forgot he has Tailwind. I forgot he has Tailwind. And I was gonna say I thought he was Scarf. Yeah, he still has a turn of Tailwind left. I'm in a really bad spot here, actually. I might actually just straight up lose the game here. Because I, I gotta go Terra Fairy here. Terra Fairy, he also has a Terra on his side. He can still go for if he's like Terra Fire Annihilate, I think he wins the game here. It just comes down to what he what he Terra's. If he Terra's the Metagross, he he can still maybe win. Or if he Terra's the the Annihilate, I, I'm forced to go Terra Fairy here, and I kind of got to go Dazzling Gleam, and then I'm gonna go Quick Guard, predicting a Bullet Punch here. Really kind of sucks to it too because the the gouging fire went down really fast in this game. I was hoping I'd keep that around a lot longer, but Dragon Pulse and the Kingry there, they're way too much damage. I didn't think it was gonna do that much. He doesn't even go for bullet punch. No Terra either though. That actually just one shots the Annihilate. So we're depending on what he goes for here, we can still be in a good spot. I'm hoping he goes after the Verizon. Huh? He does. I don't think I actually live a bullet punch, though. Like, that's going to be what's going to really happen here. If I can live a bullet punch, if he has bullet punch, I'm going to protect to scout what he has. If he has bullet punch, he wins the game. Oh, heavy slam. He might not actually have bullet punch. He might have Psychic Fangs, Ice Punch, Heavy Slam. I let you that, or he's just trying to fake me out. He, he predicted to protect there. I don't know. Really ballsy to predict, predict to protect there, though. Now he's going to tear. Are you Terra Normal? If he's Terra Normal, he wins. But he's Terra Steel. That doesn't matter. Unless he bullet, has Bullet Punch. He has no Bullet Punch. You're dead. I don't know who runs Metagross and does not run Bullet Punch, but I, apparently this is one of the very few people that does not run Bullet Punch on Metagross for whatever reason. Worked out for us, though, because otherwise we would have lost. If he, if he would have had Bullet Punch, he would have won, especially with a Terra Steel boost. Worked out for us. I got, us, got the win because he isn't running that for some reason. He's running Heavy Slam. A bad, really solid game. Let's talk a little bit about this team. If you guys want a really solid team around, as I think this is a pretty solid team around it. 
I think the reason why you don't see Verizon is it overall is just not that good of a mon. I think the, the main problem with it too is it's really Terra reliant. Like the fighting grass typing is okay offensively, but like defensively and not really having like the greatest offensive stats for the Verizon, you kind of just get one shotted by a lot of stuff. There's also a lot of stuff right now that's really common, it just outspeeds you and just one shots you. That's kind of the main problem I had with it during a lot of these games during this. But like overall, I think this team kind of really does support it really well. So if you guys want a team around Verizon for whatever reason you want to play one, rental code up in the corner. I think I might have said it earlier at the start of the video, but this team does not have a bulky paste. Just has a rental code. So if you guys want to use it in game, they'll feel free to should support the creator of the team. Apart from that, I think the other MVP of this team is definitely the, the Flutter Man. I think like 90% of the games I use this team, I think every single time, 90% of the time I brought the Flutter Man. Another real MVP for this team. Gouging Fire is fine. And uh, the mouse holds there mainly is more of a supportive mod. Everything else kind of just put in a bunch of work. It's kind of really standard, kind of didn't, not really too much out of the ordinary to expect from it because it's always really consistent. So, solid team. Pretty damn solid. But I think this is the main reason why you don't see Verizon very much. Not really the greatest mon, and I think it's more of a lower tier type mon, but it's not bad by any means. I think if it was more, if Verizon was released more in like an early type of meta, like Regulation B or C, when like the power level really wasn't that high or we didn't really get like some of the crazy stuff we have currently that's legal i think it'd be a lot better for mon but at that point they're usually when they release the legends they release a bunch of other ones alongside it just don't release one or two of them and you'd also have a bunch of other stuff being released alongside that so it's way better so even then i don't know overall if you guys enjoyed we had some really crazy games starting this too some really cool teams we went against and some just really good gameplay so if you guys like that, by all means, feel free to leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. Allows me to keep you guys bringing vi videos to you guys and keep the content flowing. Apart from that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for stopping by. Leave a like, subscribe, share if you are new. And I'm going to see you guys in a future video. Got a bunch more stuff on the way you guys not want to miss. So if you do not, sub do not subscribe, feel free to. So you don't miss anything. Peace out, everybody.